Yophelim Jubilees 36. And in the sixth year of this week, Yitzhak called his two sons Esau and Yaakov, and they came to him. And he said unto them, My sons, I am going the way of my fathers to the eternal house where my fathers are. Wherefore, bury me near Avraham, my father, in the double cave, in the field of Ephron, the Chiti, where Avraham purchased a sepulcher to bury in, in the sepulcher which I dug for myself, there bury me. And this I command you, my sons, that ye practice righteousness and uprightness on the earth, so that Yahuwah may bring upon you all that Yahuwah said that he would do to Avraham and to his seed. And love one another, my sons, your brothers as a man who loves his own soul. And let each seek in what he may benefit his brother, and act together on the earth. And let them love each other as their own souls. And concerning the question of idols, I command and admonish you to reject them and hate them. And love them not, for they are full of deception for those that worship them and for those that bow down to them. Remember ye, my sons, Yahuwah Elohim of Abraham your father, and how I too worshipped him and served him in righteousness and in joy, that he might multiply you and increase your seed as the stars of heaven in multitude and establish you on the earth as the plant of righteousness, which will not be rooted out until all the generations forever. And now I shall make you swear a great oath, for there is no oath which is greater than it, by the name glorious and honored and great and splendid and wonderful and mighty, which created the heavens and the earth and all things together, that ye will fear him and worship him, and that each will love his brother with affection and righteousness, and that neither will desire evil against his brother from henceforth forever, all the days of your life, so that ye may prosper in all your deeds and not be destroyed. And if either of you devises evil against his brother, know that from henceforth Every one that devises evil against his brother shall fall into his hand and shall be rooted out of the land of the living and his seed shall be destroyed from under heaven. But on the day of turbulence and execration and indignation and anger with flaming devouring fire as he burnt Chedam so likewise will he burn his land and his city and all that is his. And he shall be blotted out of the sefer, of the discipline of the children of the men, and not be recorded in the sefer of life, but in that which is appointed to destruction. And he shall depart into eternal execration, so that their condemnation may be always renewed in hate and in execration, and in wrath, and in torment, and in indignation, and in plagues, and in disease forever. I say and testify to you, my sons, according to the judgment which shall come upon the man who wishes to injure his brother. And he divided all his possessions between the two on that day. And he gave the larger portion to him that was the firstborn, and the tower and all that was about it, and all that Avraham possessed at the well of the oath. And he said, This larger portion I will give to the firstborn. And Esau said, I have sold to Yaakov and given my birthright to Yaakov, to him let it be given, and I have not a single word to say regarding it, for it is his. And Yitzhak said, 
May a blessing rest upon you, my sons, and upon your seed this day, for ye have given me rest. And my heart is not pained concerning the birthright, lest you should work wickedness on account of it. May El Elyon bless the man that works righteousness, him and his seed, forever. And he ended commanding them and blessing them, and they ate and drank together before him, and he rejoiced, because there was one mind between them. And they went forth from him and rested that day and slept. And Yitzhak slept on his bed that day rejoicing, and he slept the eternal sleep and died 180 years old. He completed 25 weeks and five years, and his two sons Esau and Yaakov buried him. And Esau went to the land of Edom, to the mountains of Seir, and dwelt there. And Yaakov dwelt in the mountains of Chevran, in the tower of the land of the sojournings of his father, Avraham. And he worshipped Yahuwah with all his heart, according to the visible command, commands, according as he had divided the days of his generations. And Leah, his woman, died in the fourth year of the second week of the 45th Jubilee, and he buried her in the double cave near Rivka, his mother, to the left of the grave of Serah, his father's mother. And all her sons and his sons came to mourn Leah, his woman with him, and to comfort him regarding her, for he was lamenting her. For he loved her exceedingly after Rachel, her sister, died. For she was perfect and upright in all her ways, and honored Yaakov, and all the days that she lived with him, he did not hear from her mouth a harsh word. For she was gentle and peaceable and upright and honorable. And he remembered all her deeds which she had done during her life. And he lamented her exceedingly, for he loved her with all his heart and with all his soul.